welcome to another Molly Motorsports Piston Tech presentation. I'm Justin Dossett and today we'll be discussing tools, tips, and tricks for installing our round wire locks. Installing circle clips can be one of the most aggravating parts of any engine build. It can be very frustrating, time consuming, and even painful, especially to the fingertips. Most engine builders have developed their own methods in installing these clips. The most efficient way varies from piston design to piston design. While there is no exact right way to do it, there are several wrong ways. Even though installing the clips is not very fun, it is crucial to be done correctly. Since the majority will not have specific made install tools, we'll show the install with some more readily available tools such as a couple flat blade screwdrivers, an assortment of o-ring picks, and a binder clip which you disassemble and you got one side of that right there. And as always, your fingers. We will also show the install and removal with some of our special made tools. In our application guide we show we sell this plastic disposable push style tool which can be purchased in 927 and 990 diameters. It can also be purchased in metal from the manufacturer such as this example here. We actually made that here on our small lathe. These versions have been modified as you can see here to add a little extra support for the pin. The last install tool here, the aluminum version that we made here on our small lathe also, uh, uses the OD, which is here on this uh, dowel pin, and the ID to center itself in the pin. It's mainly made for our tanged clips, but also works very well with our non-tanged clips. Our removal tool here is actually just a modified punch that can easily be made in your garage in about five minutes. As you can see, it's just got a small little 90 degree hook right here and little beveled edge. Here at Molly Motorsports, the majority of our retaining clips are round wire locks, specifically with and without tang. The two different clip designs util utilize different dig out notch machinings. This is an example of a non tang clip dig out notch. This is an example of a tanged clip dig out notch. The non tang clip can be used in either type of dig out notch but the tang clip can only be used in the dig out notch specifically machined for this purpose. It has an asymmetrical design which allows the tang to rest on the slope side and not the sharp 90 degree corner. It also positions the clip properly as we discussed in the previous video. Now we'll show the installation with just a typical flat blade screwdriver. Go ahead and flip your piston over, install your binder clip into the circle clip groove like so hold itself in place, slide the wrist pin into place, grab a new circ clip, place it into the piston like so, apply slight pressure with your this thumb right here, try to find somewhere on the piston where you can safely pry, do more of a prying and rolling, sometimes you'll slip like that. First, we'll go over the installation of a non tanked clips with our uh, app guide installation tool, plastic or metal, our homemade installation tool, and by hand. Now we'll go over the installation with our application guide install tool. We're going to use the aluminum version because it's a little easier. The plastic one is more of a, like we said earlier, a disposable. First, disassemble your binder clip, remove this part. You know, this little piece here. Now flip your piston over, install this into the circ clip groove. You know, it'll kind of hold itself in there. Flip your piston back over, slide your wrist pin into place, like so. Pull a new clip out of the bag. I already did that so I didn't have to fill it around. Position the clip like so and kind of hold a little pressure on it with this thumb. Put your tool in, push down, and do a twisting motion kind of like a, that was a little exaggerated, but, and there it is. Next we'll show with our homemade tool, this one. Like, pre like we previously said, install the binder clip, slide the pin into place. Now, position this, position the clip in place once again, hold it in there, hold a little pressure with this thumb. Now, this one, you're gonna wanna push into the piston and twist. 
like so. As you can see here, we put a little scratch on the piston. Don't be alarmed. That's just a dry film phosphate coating. It's uh, to prevent pin bore and ring land galling on initial startup. No worries. Last, we'll go over installing it just with using your fingers. Now, like everything else, install the binder clip, put your pin in place, position the clip into the groove like we've done previously. Hold slight pressure here and pretty much you just got to manhandle it. As you can see, not very easy. Next we're going to install a tanged clip. Tanged versus non-tanged, the installation process is pretty much identical. The only difference is you just got to make sure that this tang is positioned on the slope side as we mentioned earlier. Going to go ahead and place that in there, hold against it with your thumb, install our tool and the pin ID, give it a twist, and there it is. Once you have both the clips installed, you need to make sure that the uh, clips are properly seated in the piston. It's easy to glance and think that they're seated when in fact they're not. To seat the clips, here we're just going to use our tanged install tool because it fits in the pin ID pretty well. Just take it, place it in, give it a slight bump with your hand, both directions. Now, I didn't hear any snaps or anything like that, so our clips were seated correctly. If you hear a snap, or it may actually spit the clip completely back out of the piston, your clip was not installed correctly. Now we'll show the removal with just a typical O-ring pick. Place it into the dig out notch, do a prying motion, try to cover it up with your thumb. And there it is. Next we're going to show the removal with our homemade tool that we mentioned earlier. Now, please use caution when removing the clips. It's always a good idea to wear some sort of eye protection as a clip can come out with some force and travel a long distance, which I'm sure most of you already know. Now, for the removal, all we're going to do is take our little dig out there, place it in our notch, kind of get a feel for it, get a hang on it, put your thumb over that, and roll it right out. <coughs> Lastly, we're going to go over some things you need to avoid. Never use pliers to install your sir clips, as you can bend it relatively easy and it'll deform it, rendering it useless. Next, don't ever twist the clip. It'll also render it useless. Lastly, don't ever use a hammer, a press, anything like that, any excessive force. You know, it should be able, to, if you have the proper tools or, you know, proper technique, you should be able to install them relatively easy. Again, one thing we highly recommend here at Molly Motorsports is that you replace your circ clips every time they're installed or removed from the piston. Thanks for watching, and be sure to give us a like on Facebook or follow our YouTube channel to stay up to date with our current piston tech videos.